we're trying to understand how plants create their amazing shapes. And the secret we've discovered is all to do with conflict. So how does a conflict create a shape? This piece of plastic shrinks when you heat it. But if I colour the outside black, it will absorb more heat and shrink faster than the rest of the plastic. And this conflict in shrink rates causes the plastic to deform into a little cup. Here's another example that you can try out for yourself. Put some tape along a piece of paper, then put it in some water. It curls. That's a conflict between the wet paper trying to expand and the tape that can't stretch. We're finding that that's how flowers and leaves shape themselves too, except the conflicts are much more elaborate. And they're not put there by somebody colouring in or sticking some tape, but through genes patterning the way cells grow. Paper is made from plant cell fibres. These fibres affect the way paper expands when you wet it. In a similar way, the fibres inside plant cells affect how the cells grow. Under the microscope, we can see the plant cells arranging their fibres to control how different regions grow. When neighbouring regions try to grow in different ways, we end up with conflict. By using computer modelling, we can explore what happens to plant tissues under different types of conflicts. We see that if neighbouring cells, they grow at different rates or in different directions, this can cause the tissue to fold in on itself, buckle out of plane or form a dome. By exploring combinations of different conflicts, we're arriving at the first models of how plants generate their amazing shapes. Mutations that change the pattern of conflict develop different shapes. And we can now use the same principles of conflict to better understand how animals develop as well. Now we're starting to understand how these conflicts work. We can combine them in totally new ways to produce shapes that don't even exist in nature. And these can inspire artists to come up with fresh designs. Nature is now inspiring us, not just in the beautiful shapes found in plants and animals, but through the amazing hidden conflicts through which these shapes are formed.